Hey everyone, Eric with Rockin H, and I know many of you are interested in having items 3D printed, and you know, I've written quite a bit and taught a lot about how to go about this, and there's basically one of two ways you can kind of get it, or maybe even three. Uh, one, you can pay someone to do your design work, and I've paid people anywhere from a hundred bucks for a design to forty-five dollars an hour, and you know, it's all over the map what you can pay or you can learn how to do it yourself and then I guess the third way is to no. buy a file if it's print ready if you can find one but as a word of encouragement I would suggest you try Tinkercad to design your own files so this is something I've been learning on my own how to do using YouTube videos and just playing around with it and it's really really doable if you're interested in learning so what I'm designing here, and this has taken me about oh 30 minutes to get this far, and I'll show you what I'm making. Right here, this little tag axle, I usually just buy trucks for that axle uh, to do different projects and then use the rest of the cap for parts on other projects. But uh, occasionally you can find them on eBay. There's a couple guys that uh, take by do runs and then they take them apart and sell the parts off and I'll buy them out as quick as I can find them and uh, just can't find any right now and that's a frustration so I need that part so I'm making it here and I'll just briefly show you what I've done so you can kinda get uh, an idea of what I have so this would be the outer diameter of that wheel and then that wheel also has kind of a uh, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a short little round piece sticking out of the front and then a flat surface behind that. And all of these are just cylinders that are resized uh, so far. And then just this morning via YouTube I learned how to make the holes because that has 10 holes uh, on the diameter of the front part of the wheel. Uh, in Tinkercad there's this thing called circular array right here. You can drag that on your workspace and you'll notice uh, mine back here is much smaller and they're round well look how intuitive this is so this circular array right here you can make it circles and then you'll notice right here it's got eight holes and the wheel that I want has ten look at that we're just gonna change that and now I have ten holes and then you can change the radius the size which I chose one millimeter and then for the radius, I got out my micrometer and measured the real wheel, and uh, just as a base point, a starting point, and then changed that diameter, or that radius, I'm sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this and then show you kind of what I'm cooking here. So again, Tinkercad has a really neat feature. See how these are not in line with the wheel that I want to put them in. Well, if you, excuse me, if you select them all like this, there's a feature right here that allows you to line all those parts up. And as you can see, my radius is much too big. <laughs> We're going to have to fix that, not a problem. So now, we can change that. Oops. I'll select the right item. And we'll change that radius from six millimeters to say four and see what happens. There we go. And now we can see that I'm going to have four holes or ten holes that are going to go through this item. Now you're going to say, Eric, that's not right because those need to be they need to be holes like you see here versus solid rods. Well again in Tinkercad now this took me a little bit to fully appreciate and understand but you can take an object like this and then turn it into a hole. So you're going to select it. And 
and then see how it went clear then we're going to select the whole uh, group of items and we're going to group them together and see how they disappeared but watch this let's zoom in on this so you can see it even better it made 10 holes in perfect alignment. Isn't that cool? That is just so neat. So that's just basically just shows you what some of the potential of this program is and certainly if you have a little time it, it, it is surprisingly intuitive and like I said with the help of YouTube I mean this is just really really interesting and pretty darn simple to work. You don't need any particular skills. You just need a teachable spirit and an internet connection. That's all you need. And I would recommend a good mouse. Anyways, hope that helps you and encourages you to give it a go and start designing your own stuff. Have a good one. So I thought I'd take a few moments and show you what I came up with. This is my tire and wheel to mimic what we would see on a diecast promotions truck. Not an exact copy because obviously I I'm not that skilled. Anyways, uh, quickly, you have a rim here. You see this little black piece right here? I put that as a kind of a stop, so when you push the tire on, uh, it'll have a stopping point. I'm not sure if that's smart or not, but seems like a logical thing to do, especially since I don't have anything in the middle to push the tire over to keep it on. Now, this will be a plastic that won't be flexible for the first print, so I know I can't slide it over uh, some sort of object that we could design here in the middle. Um, this axle here is longer than what would be on a factory made uh, piece and part of that is depending on what you're putting this on you'll need to put a spacer on the axle to to push the tire out so it looks right on the truck so I thought why not just make this part longer and then skip the whole spacer bit and then if a guy doesn't like this length you can just cut it off or at least that's what I'll do um, haul it out the inside kinda like the regular one um, and then on the tire the tread isn't real fancy just pretty it's a basic tread and you'll notice I, it's not even spaced correctly here um, and then I hollowed the tire out a little bit so these line up and um, we can go ahead and you can see how that's gonna slide over that rim um, we're going to put the turn the snap grid back on to half a millimeter here so we can slide that quicker. And uh, pretty close. I've got about two hours in this project, um, and this is me not knowing exactly what I'm doing here. Oh, those are not lined up exactly, so we'll go ahead and do that quick. We're going to line that here and there now it's perfect so that's kinda of what I've come up with on this wheel I'm excited to get a test print coming and see exactly how this goes um, I'll have to s separate these two pieces because I'll have this printed in black and then this will be something which I'll spray with Molotow here at the house once I get it in and see how this works so that is uh, my first wheel, which I'm pretty excited about because now I can hopefully have a steady supply of these when I need them.